Hey guys, wait. Isn't that better lighting? All right, just sit down. All right, so you can tell the title, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make morph clay. Now, if you don't know what morph clay is, it's like this, basically. This is morph clay. It holds its shape really nice. Like if you mold it into a shape, it doesn't mold. It doesn't deflate or go down or anything. It stays in its shape, so it's like this. Hard, can't really mold it anymore. But then once you play with it again and more, um, it gets fluffy, like really, really fluffy. And it's just super nice and easy and fun. And I really like this stuff. And it's kind of hard to find. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make it. And it's just amazing. And one thing, I, the only thing I don't like about Morph Clay is that it gets on your hands and it's like a sandy feeling. So the one that I'm gonna be showing you how to make is not sandy, so. That's just so satisfying. Oh my God, that's so cool. All right, so I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make this. And yeah, so let's, get started all right so the first thing you're gonna be needing is some crayola model magic just want some of that you're also gonna be needing some lotion i'm just using a vino uh by the way guys i actually use a, this a vino lotion for my skin it works really good shout out to a vino and you're also gonna be needing some shaving gel or shaving cream doesn't matter yeah, I'm going to be using shaving gel. And the last thing you're going to be needing is some cornstarch. So, yeah, let's get rolling. So, the first thing you want to do is take some of your model magic. Usually, model magic is pretty hard when you take it out of the container so what what you want to do first is just soften your model magic now this is where lotion comes in handy um uh, i just use lotion to soften model magic it works really good just put some lotion on there sorry if the lighting's horrible one sec can i fix this focus all right all right there we go that's better all right so you just want to add your lotion and then knead it in until the model magic turns really soft and like stretchy and pullable and stuff so i'll see you once i'm done making this softer my pink crush just made me act just made me all right so the model magic is totally softened you want it to be so softened that you can stretch it very far and it's basically like slime but it still holds its shape pretty good and everything but it spreads really nice too so then what you want to do is take your shaving gel or shaving cream and just add a little bit. It's going to add about that much and then knead it in. You can also use paint or food coloring, which is optional. Um, I'm going to add some food coloring maybe. Depends. But yeah, just add your shaving cream and knead it in. You don't need too much, but you kind of need some. So yeah. All right, so then once you added your shaving gel, it should be a little extra fluffier. I think I'm actually gonna add a little more. Now guys, just a warning. If you're using this Gillette shaving gel, um, I noticed this a few minutes ago before I started the video that it says almond oil, that it has almond oil in it. So if any of you guys are allergic to almonds, do not use this because it has almond oil in it. So I wouldn't recommend using it if you're allergic to almonds. I don't know. But yeah, I'm just going to add a little more extra shaving gel. And then boom, you're done. No, I'm kidding. If you're wondering why we needed the cornstarch, then... Here it comes, so. You see it's really soft and definitely not like morph clay because morph clay, it's hard and it inflates by itself. So what you're gonna be needing to do, now I don't really know it's in morph clay, but this is the recipe that I did by myself and figured out how to do it, and I think this works good. I tested a few other ways, but it didn't work good, so. 
Damn! You just want to take some cornstarch um, and put it in a bowl. So you just want to take some cornstarch, put it in a bowl. I'm just going to use a fork and try and do this. It's not going to work, but okay. Just going to put about that much. Two spoon, or should I say fork spoon. Fork. Wait. Two fork spools. I mean, two fork fulls. Two spoonfuls. Two fork fulls. That just sounds weird. So then just add your cornstarch to your dough or your mama magic and shaving gel slash shaving cream and lotion. And it will automatically start turning into morph clay. It'll start getting really, really fluffy as you play with it. I recommend using shaving gel and shaving cream because shaving cream makes it really light like the real Morph Clay and stuff. And shaving gel makes it heavy. So, I would recommend using both, but I didn't use both. The only thing that's going to be different about it is that this kind that we are making is going to be heavy. But, yeah, you just want to keep adding cornstarch until it gets really hard and really thick. And, yeah, I'll see you once I'm done so you can see the finished product. guys so i finished making or adding the cornstarch to it and you can see it's really super hard it's the same thing except it's harder and it's not as stretchy so what we're going to do to make it stretchier is add more shaving gel or shaving cream whatever you guys are using maybe add a little more <laughs> and then some lotion and then if it's too soft after that, just add more cornstarch. And if it's too hard, you know, just keep repeating this process until you get it to a consistency that you like or that you want. Or, you know, basically the consistency that I'm showing you guys right now. Because it's basically the thing. It's just a little extra drier, kind of. So, yeah. I think the real morph clay, I think it has, like, salt in it. I don't know. It feels like there's salt in it. And it also tastes and tastes and tastes and tastes and tastes and smells like it. Don't ask. Um, but, <laughs> yeah. So, I think the real Morph Clay has salt in it, but I do not really want to replicate it with food, because if I replicate it with food, some people might not be able to do it, so. Now it's a little too soft for my, not too soft, but it doesn't get that fluffier uh, when you play with it now, so I'm going to add a little more cornstarch. Just, just add, add, add cornstarch. Like what I'm doing now. Exactly. So, yeah, just... Add cornstarch. Okay, I think I, it's, it's done, boy. It's done. I think I'm going to add some food coloring really quick. So, I'm going to add some food coloring and you'll see what it looks like with food coloring. Alright, so I actually decided I didn't want to add food coloring. But yeah, this is really cool. It's really amazing, super soft and fluffy. Well, it only gets fluffy when you play with it, but... Yeah. Here it is. It's getting really fluffy as I play with it. You can tell. Oh, that looks so amazing. In person, this looks so amazing. Whoa, how's it turning pink and blue? What? Wait, that's weird, actually. Oh, my God. I didn't even add fruit coloring. It looks so pretty, though. All right, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna be pink. So it looks pink. Oh, never mind. It's gonna be a light purple. All right, but yeah, here is your morph. 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 <laughs> Here's your morph clay. It is very soft, very fluffy, very inflatable. Um, and yeah, why does it look white on camera? It's actually really light, pretty purple. It's kind of like the real version. It's the real version, basically. This is the real version. It gets like that. And everything like that gets fluffy. And same with this version. It's, this is my dad. Say hi! 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 
but yeah, that's how you make more of Clay. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Also, remember to like, subscribe, share, and comment. And if you're a new subscriber and you haven't seen my channel yet, comment down below, and I will give you a shout out. That's how you make more of Clay.